Well, hello there. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How nice of you to join us. Want to get better at taking photos? Well, keep on watching, because that's what we're talking about today. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're going to cover one very basic thing that comes down to photo composition. And this helps add depth to your photo and it also helps add emotion to your photos. So I'm going to throw something up on the screen now. That is an assistive grid. And you can turn this on and off on your smartphone. If you go into your iPhone or your Android or wherever it is, it'll be something like grid lines or the assistive grid. And I do encourage you to turn that on. The lines might annoy you when you first start using it, but this is actually a great tool so you can start taking better photos. And I'm not going to show you why. So now that you have those grid lines turned on in your camera, you can start understanding where your subject is in relation to what's happening in your photo. And in photography, we like to follow something called the rule of thirds. So there's a line going across the top, there's a line coming across the bottom, and there's two lines either left and right. And if you can start moving your hero or your subject along these lines, all of a sudden you're adding depth and emotion to your photos. I know, it's a very small thing and you're thinking, well, what the hell has this got to do with photography? But it actually does help you tell a better story. So now we're going to look at a couple of examples of photos that don't follow the rule of thirds and then photos that do utilize the rule of thirds. So you can see what I'm talking about. And once again, I took all these photos so I can say whatever I want about them. So the first photo we're looking at today is, as of, is of a car. And the car is smack bang in the middle. It's a very flat image. Nothing is happening. In fact, I'd say this photo is pretty damn rubbish. But when you apply the rule of thirds and say, where can I move this car in the framing of the photo? All of a sudden, we've got some depth added to our photo. So all I did was walk to the right hand side of the car. I got down a little lower. I placed the car on the right hand third of the photo. You've got a leading line that goes through and it starts pushing towards another object, which is the house. But there is depth added to the car. The car automatically looks a bit cooler. So that's one example of how you can use the rule of thirds to add depth to your photo. So moving on, we're now in the forest. And as you can see here, the horizon. So basically where the sky meets the ground is right in the middle of the photo. So there isn't much happening in this photo. You know you're in a forest, but like going back to this hero and where's your subject, we don't have a defined subject in this photo. However, when we start applying the rule of thirds and placing the horizon along one of the, those thirds, you'll see what happens. So now, all of a sudden, we just move the horizon down and we've made a subject out of the sky and the tree line. You start playing around in the editing room with this, you can also see some light is coming in from the left hand side. There's a lot more going on in this photo. And all we did was just move the angle of the camera. So start following the rule of thirds. Similarly, we can place the horizon onto the top of the photo and all of a sudden the ground becomes the subject. And now there's a bit more depth and you get a sense of the earth in this photo. So pay attention to where the horizon is and where you've placed it along the grid lines in the rule of thirds. It helps add depth to your photo. Now we're going to look at a quick example of how you can use the rule of thirds to tell a bit more about emotion in your photos. So here's a photo of me and I'm smack bang in the middle of the photo. You think, all right, great. Don's in front of the camera. Good for you, Don. It's, it's kind of flat. There's a subject, great. But let's, let's start moving this subject around. So if we actually move Don onto the left-hand side of the grid line, so we're now on the left-hand side of the rule of thirds, and I'm looking across the camera, all of a sudden your viewer is thinking, huh, what is he looking at? What is happening? Why are they staring into the sky? Look at this empty space to the right. There's more emotion here. There's a lot more happening. I mean, it's still me in pretty much the exact same position. All we did was either move the camera or move the subject. But following the rule of thirds, you're now beginning to think, hmm, well, what's going on here? Is he, is he looking at something? Is he looking for someone? For well, what's happening? And there's also a bit more depth in, in your subject. So by simply moving the object, paying attention to the rule of thirds, you add emotion and you add depth to your pictures. 
So I hope you found that useful. Start using the rule of thirds. You can turn it on on your smartphone. You can put it on your, your SLR. All cameras have that capability. You can add depth to your photos. You can add emotion to your photos. So please do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with small little tips and hacks on how you can take better photos and put out better videos. I want to update this channel as much as I can and I will see you in the next video.